Boost, mabuhay and maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Alright, so as you may already know, Sara Duterte, who is the daughter of the still current president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, and Bongbong Marcos have won by a landslide during the past uh, Philippines elections 2022. Um, but recently, Sara Duterte was inaugurated, okay? And you guys are asking me to react to the video where, you know, the, the inauguration happens. It's not a very easy word to pronounce. I am sorry. Let me read you the title of this video. Sara Duterte has sworn in as the 15th vice president of the Philippines and we're gonna check it out together. I hope you guys are ready but before we start as usual make sure to follow me on Instagram at music game news because that is where you can DM me your suggestions and without further ado let's get to it. Oh yeah and what I forgot to tell you is that my uh, iMac that I had for over 12 years just died on me so I'm gonna have to watch uh, the next you know couple of videos on my phone unfortunately because I did not have the time to do research to purchase a new laptop or tablet or whatever I have to buy uh to keep you know working so yeah let's do this i don't know how it's going to be i have to figure this out i hope it's not gonna be an issue for me uh when editing the video let's go At this point, we now call Vice President-elect Sarah Zimmerman Duterte ah, for Davao the City. of Oath of Office. San Pedro Square. Huh. The main color, the predominant color here is green. Green and white. So here's uh, Sarah Duterte. She's wearing green. She looks great. She's got those Filipino shoulder pads. And I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, this video has been uploaded by the SMNI channel. It's the channel that, um, you know, uh, interviewed uh, Bongbong Marcos. I actually reacted to that long uh, interview or more like a debate. Sarah Z Duterte. What does the Z stand for? Hey, the father, Mr. Rodrigo Duterte is right there. Damn, he looks like a priest. Good afternoon, Madam Vice President-elect. You will be taking your oath pursuant to Section 5, Article 7 of the Constitution, as a duly elected vice president of the Philippines. Please wait. Like I said in another video, Sara Duterte looks like a very strong woman that could literally knock somebody out. And after I said that, you guys sent me a clip of her actually punching a guy in the face because he messed up or wasn't listening to her or something like that. So yeah, she could definitely kick your ass, man. Your right hand and repeat after me. I, I wait. Ah, let me go back. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. 
Justice Ramon Paul El Hernando Supreme Court. Okay. And by the way, this is the first time that I watch uh, an inauguration like this, whether it be uh, Filipino or from another country. I. I. Sara Zimmerman Duterte. Zimmerman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill my duties as Vice President of the Philippines. My duties as Vice President of the Philippines. Preserve and defend its constitution. Preserve and defend its constitution. constitution. Execute its laws. Execute its laws. Do justice to every man. Do justice to every man. And mm. consecrate myself. And consecrate myself. To the service of the nation. To the service of the nation. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and all the what? best, Madam Vice President. Hey, I didn't see you there. Well, now that you're here, um, why don't you celebrate uh, for making it this far into this video by subscribing to the channel, by turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos, and of course, and the most important thing, to like this video because it does help out the channel tremendously. And now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my business. So the woman in in green as well next to her is probably her mother, right? So the wife of Rodrigo Duterte. I think. I'm assuming. power has been handed from the eldest generation to the new generation and she's not president should i say president yet because i can sense it i can feel it that this woman will be the president of the philippines at some point you know so he is kind of like handing to her the power of the country This is big. This is big. Oh, she's gonna sign it. She's gonna sign that contract. Let's go. It's official. Signing of the oath. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Father, Mr. Current President Rodrigo Duterte looks a little bored to be honest. <laughs> oh, that dude. Hey. This is a big moment for this family and for the Philippines. I like the melody. Sara Zimmerman Duterte is the official vice president of the Philippines, the new vice president of the Philippines.
There you go. All right, let me turn this off. Bam. All right, hopefully I recorded the screen of my phone so that I can actually edit it later. Um, okay, so, you know, I think if uh, Sara Duterte does her job well, her vice president job well, I think that her chances to become the actual president of the Philippines are extremely high. You know, because I think that the Filipinos, that's my opinion, I think that Filipinos really see her as a strong woman, you know, that could actually do something and create change in the Philippines. And I think that's what's gonna happen because yeah, right now, Bongo Marcos is going to be the next president of the Philippines. She is going to be his vice president. And from what you guys told me, the roles will change in the future, okay? Maybe Bong Bong will be vice president and uh, Sara Duterte will be the president. But I have a question for you guys. Um, do you like it when, when the generations of the past presidents also have a huge role in the government of a country, you know? when the kids of the past presidents also become presidents and vice presidents and stuff like that, you know? I don't know if it's such a good thing. I'm not saying that, you know, Bong Bong Marcos or Sara Duterte are not suited for, uh, for what they're going to be doing right now, but I just think that if we want a fresh new perspective, you need um, a president or vice president from a brand new family, you know, like a brand new person. But then again, change does not happen quickly. You know, you can't change things in a matter of years, like three, four years. Change happens, uh, you know, on, 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 a, on a very long period, on a very long span of time, you know. So you need at least a decade, maybe two decades to, uh, to change things properly. But when like one person on when or one family stays in power for too long, it goes into their head and they get used to the comfort and the power and uh, they usually tend to abuse it. So they have to be very, very careful. But I am very happy for Sara Zimmerman uh, Duterte. I really like her uh, middle name. Uh, hopefully, she will serve the country uh, properly. Okay? Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Now I have to, ugh, I have to spend more money to purchase a freaking tablet or or laptop or something to be able to watch my videos comfortably and and stuff like that. You know. This is very annoying, but uh, it has to be done. Um, take care of yourselves, have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.